Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and today I'm going to do our new unboxing for the Club Kits of the Month for the month of October. Starting off with the card kit of the month and it is called Oh What Fun and I have not yet opened it so let me grab my knife for this. I can open this one up. Go ahead and pull this out. And here is our little sheet that tells us what's inside. So we've got 10 cards and envelopes, nine pieces of cardstock, a set of nine dies. And looking at this, we can tell it's a tree. And we've got Santa, which is so super cute. We're going to have a paper pad, stamp set, chipboard frames, puppy stickers, chipboard embellishments, sequins, die cut shapes, foam squares, and adhesive tape. So let's go ahead and take out all of the normal stuff that's in every one of the boxes of the month. And then we can go and look at all the extra goodies. So here are our card pieces and our tape and um, foam squares. So I'll put those off to the side. We've got some pretty yellowish iridescent sequins, a little pack of those. <laughs> and we've got this cute little stamp set that is all gingerbread men. I love little gingerbread men. We've got sentiments that say, may your holidays be sprinkled with cheer. You are magical. Hope your Christmas is to marry everything and happy always i love that one christmas wishes and gingerbread kisses just be jolly let's get excited it's christmas i hope your holidays are sweet christmas starts with a smile bunch of really fun little sentiments there love it love it got our embellishments there our chip they're giving us chipboard frames and these are all like film strips that is super cute. well some are film strips they all have a good, good de decorative design and i think that is super cute though so it looks like it's got the film size on here and in some really small foil writing okay and then we've got our our thickers and we've got our paper pad and of course all of our pretty papers papers we've got light blue a medium blue, some green and red, those nice, okay, this is looking like it's orange, but that is not orange, this is actually red, so you can tell that the tones are a little bit off, it looks like there's a little bit of extra, I don't know, maybe yellow in there, this one is pink, and then a darker pink, and a black, and a white, and that lovely mirror cardstock in gold that I absolutely love. And give me just a second. I'm going to see if I can adjust the colors on here a little bit. Uh, my camera is not actually working the way that I need it to be because I am recording while our power and internet and all those things are mostly out due to Hurricane Ian. Um, I'm on a, I'm actually on generator power and tethering to my phone and all those things. So give me just a second and we'll see what I can do with this. So I'm not sure if I got the colors any better, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going. I don't know what the issue is with the whole setting on. That's because I haven't used this software before. Anyway, um, this is a really cool little paper pack, which you guys are used to us getting. And it's got all these lovely papers in there. So we've got lots of plaids and then we've got some, some um, Christmas strings with different decorations on there and peppermints. And this is a red pattern that you can kind of see the pattern on there a little bit. And um, we have our holly and berries and joy, love, cheer, Christmas text, red stripes, some more plaid. Again, it's all these real pretty papers that would work fantastic for cards. It does have a lot of the traditional colors, but it also has some pinks mixed in there as well. So, so for a little bit of the non-traditional look. So I think this is going to work really, really good for a bunch of pay for a bunch of cards. And this one is a real close, um, narrow, I guess, plaid. So I think that is super pretty, and that is in gold foil. We all love our gold foil. Some little Christmas trees, some sprinkles, and snowflakes, and little gingerbread men. So we got a lot of fun papers there. Then we've got our thickers. These are stickers that are made out of chipboard. So we've got Santa and a little snow globe, a little town, lots of sentiments and tags, and little cute little cupcakes. And then turn it over, and you've got more things that will go along with that whole gingerbread theme. So I think that 
is super cute. You even have a little rainbow down here. That is so nice, meaning you could use some of this for something other than just Christmas. Then we've got a bunch of uh, puppy stickers. These are all some, uh, some really fun sentiments, full of cheer, joy, no peeking, deck the halls, warm wishes, just be jolly, ho, 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 holiday, oh, what fun. I think that is super cute. I do want to take a look at these little frames though because those are always fun things to use on your cards. I mean, remember how it was last month with the ones for stitching? Those were super cute. So these have got kind of a candy cane vibe. So we've got a couple of rectangles. Um, this one is in gold foil, so that is super nice. We've got some ovals and I love my ovals. Then we've got, if I can get them straight, We've got some squares. This one is all in gold foil for some stars. We've got a one in pink with red stars and then another one in red with gold stars. And then we've got these three film strips. So that is super nice. So this time, instead of giving us basically all the same design for the frame, they're giving us several different ones to choose from. And I think this will go great with a lot of those other dies, die sets that we've already seen over the last few weeks. That is just awesome. I'm picturing the little puppy and the little kitty inside some of these frames. <laughs> okay, so we've got our, our chipboard pieces. We've got a bunch of ephemera here. So let's take a look at that. I'm not going to pull all of it out because there's always so, so, so much. But let's get a general idea of some of it, some of the bigger pieces. So we've got sled, we've got Santa, Santa postage stamp, candy canes, We've got our florals, so we've got our poinsettia and holly and berries. We've got a little gingerbread house, a little polar bear, cupcakes, little car with a tree on top, gingerbread house, fireplace, basically all of those fun things that we always use for Christmas, and a bunch of little gingerbread men. Look at that. And of course, we've got a cute little deer too. I love these. You can make a ton of cards with this. This kit would basically do all of your Christmas cards for you. So let's take a look at the dies because that, of course, is what I always tend to love the absolute most is what can I do with their die? Also, because it's a pack of ephemera, I wind up I'm always afraid I'm gonna run out, but they always give us so much that I never do, so I don't use it as much as I need to. I need to change that, but the dies mean that I can always use, I can always make more. It's one of the things I love about cutting dies. Okay, so we've got Christmas tree. This one, I'm, I think they were just, here is the fun thing that you may not know about how dies are made. If they, um, the less amount, the, the less amount of space they've got for the metal piece that everything is cut out of, if they're able to get more dies into that little bit of pe little bit of space, they're able to um, basically bring the cost down. So this one doesn't really doesn't really look quite right because we've got the shape of the tree, and then we've got this piece on the inside that doesn't really match. But I think what they were doing is they were just using the metal from inside of that. So this is actually Santa's mustache and it looks like it's for his hat the ball on the top and then the cup of the the band on there and then his little eyebrows so you've got pieces of santa and we've got santa's face santa's beard his hat i'm not 100 percent sure what these are but they look kind of decorative and again they're put together so that you they don't use any more space than they actually have to and then we've got the word noel and we've got some little christmas balls so i think this is probably the garland to go across on the tree and it's actually three pieces so that is going to be super fun we've got a couple of main focal images to be able to add to our cards okay let me get these put back in the little bag i'll be putting them on a magnetic sheet later on for a use them And that is everything that's in the card kit of the month. So that is super fun and will, it basically gives you everything that you need to make some really easy cards. Or you can make them up a little bit more difficult if you want. Okay, um, another thing for the Oh What Fun, because that's what this one's called, Oh What Fun, 
set. And I'm not sure if these are coming out mid-October, like the new normal, normal new releases are, or if they're going to be available now. I will take a look at that and leave you guys some more information down in the description. But they've also got a sticker pack and some additional die cut sentiments. And these are not part of the club kit, from what I understand. These are add-ons, so you could get them completely separate. So for the stickers, go ahead and take those out so you'll see what you get. This sticker pack. One, two, three, four pages. So you've got four pages of stickers, right? A lot of these would be great to decorate your packages. Some of these I'm looking at and I'm thinking would go great in my planner. Plus you can use them on your cards too. So we've got a pack of four pages of stickers. And then we've got an additional ephemera pack of die cuts. It looks to me like they're, this is all die cut sentiments. So I'm always looking for a sentiment for a card. So this is a good way that I can have everything kind of all together. Looks like there are some larger ones in there too. If I can see the smaller ones, let's take a look and see what those larger ones look like. So we've got small ones like this one that just says Merry Christmas on this cute little banner. Perfect for the front of a card underneath something else. And then we've got these big ones that are basically big enough to be your focal image. So we've got Let's Rock Around the Christmas Tree. Shine these holidays. May your holidays be filled with sweet surprises. Speaking of sweet surprises, we've got this cake here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Tis the season to be jolly. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. These are super cute. And then there are others that are kind of in the middle um, when it comes to size, but that just means it gives you a bigger variety of things that you can do. And these would work perfectly along with everything that's already in the club kit. But as I said, these are add-ons that you can get for your Christmas card making. Okay, so let me get all of the oh, what fun things out of the way. And next we're going to go on to some of the, I think I'm going to go on, instead of the dies, I'm going to do, this is super pretty. This is the embossing folder of the month. And it looks like, basically it looks like your Christmas tree. You've got, <coughs> you've got a lot of your Christmas bows or boughs, however you want to say it, um, different florals and things, hollies and berries. We've got some Christmas ornaments. That is going to be super, super nice. I can't wait to play with that one. Ooh, that is so nice. Okay, and this one is called Scattered, Scattered Christmas. So that's our embossing folder of the month. Then we have our clear stamp and die of the month. And this one we've got this swag that's a poinsettia swag. It basically is a Christmas swag. It's got different pieces that go with our Christmas theme, right? Got might help if I turn it around. That way I might be able to read some of the stuff because we've also got some sentiments on here. We've got Merry Christmas. Peace, love, joy, warm wishes, um, have a wonderful Christmas, wishing you a Christmas filled with sweet memories. Then we've got a separate poinsettia, which to me it looks like it's about the same size as our main focal image here. So you can always do some layering that way. And we've got some different, just basically some different floral pieces that go along with the whole Christmassy florals. Then we've got dies to cut out everything as usual. Love, love, love that. Including, I love it also when they do the small ones for the sentiments. I mean, I don't think it's for all of them this time, but it is pretty close. Let me take a look at that. So this one is for... This one's for Merry Christmas. Goes there. This one is Warm Wishes. This one, Peace, Love, and Joy. This one is Noel. So it looks like the only two that they didn't do the scent do the um, dies, unless I lost them, of course, are these two larger ones that are going to be super easy to cut out by hand. And maybe the ones that you actually do as on your full um, on your full page anyway. So those are going to be nice. Now 
Next we have the, um, this is going to be the um, Amazing Paper Grace. And it is called 3D Poinsettia Surprise Envelope. So it is basically a really pretty filigree envelope. And I'm not exactly sure how this one is supposed to go together. This to me, it looks like it has pieces that fold apart and could be maybe like a box. So I'm gonna have to experiment with this and see how it works. It does have plenty of pieces for your poinsettia, has the sentiments, tis the season and Merry Christmas. And we all love the filigree on here. And this one is filigree with all those real pretty little holly leaves. That is gonna be nice. So this one will be very interesting to play with. And yes, I do like discovering how everything works. Don't always know exactly how it all goes together, but by the time my, my project is done, I am in love with it. Okay, so next we also have the other ones for the club, which are the Die of the Month and the Glimmer of the Month. So this one is the Small Die of the Month, which is Outlined Christmas Sentiments. They also included some flowers, including a poinsettia. And we've got Greetings, Wishes, Joyous, um, Warm. Sometimes it's hard to read the things backwards. Hugs, Mary, is that Celebrate? I'm not sure what that one says, Holidays, and this one is Celebrate, and that one is something else. I don't know. This one is Cheer. Um, sometimes I can't read them backwards, right? <laughs> okay, then we have our glimmer of the month which is the glimmer plates and dies for all of these and our main image is that very pretty um, poinsettia swag it's the same one that we're using over here except it's larger and it's going to be all nice and pretty foil so this is the exact same image as the one in the clear stamp and die and then we've got our sentiments which we've got holiday cheer warm wishes and merry christmas each of which comes with that die to cut out right around the edges of our foil plate. So that is going to be nice. So that is, I think I would probably went through that faster than I needed to, but again, I really don't know how this is going to work out with the computer setup. I'm kind of out of my element here. Sorry guys. Um, but I do know that this is, this is really really cool stuff i'm gonna have so much fun playing with it this month uh, along with all the other fun spellbinders products that i still have on my on my desk <laughs> to work with um, if you guys have any questions about any of the products in here be sure to let me know or check out the spellbinders website i've got links to everything down in the description below and you guys have a wonderful day remember if i can make it you can too and i can't wait to start playing with these things you guys have a wonderful day and i will talk to you soon Bye, guys.